Hello and welcome back to Shaz on the Move and on this channel we talk about all things travel and in today's video is a series continuation on how to migrate to Australia. We take you through on a step-by-step -step process of how to go about applying for the Australian Permanent Residency Visa called the Skilled Immigration Visa Subclass 189. This visa allows you to live and work for any employer you choose and move to Australia with your family on a permanent residency. So let's go through the process via an interview with Alan who recently migrated to Australia on the 189 visa. In case you're new here, you are welcome. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Step one, apply for a student visa that will allow you to enter Australia. The first stage was for student visa so that you can enter Australia. Step two, once you arrive in Australia, start the application for the 189 visa. After you enter Australia, now you start applying afresh for subclass 189. Step three, if you have family, gather all your documents and enjoy them into your application. Well, now this subclass 189, it involves in, in joining the rest of the family. That's myself, my son, and my daughter. Uh, into the into that application, so which means all this documentation has to be in place. All the requisite travel documents have to be in place. All the um, medical uh, records have to be in place. The immunization of the children from the time they are born, uh, any vaccinations for travel, all these records have to be uh, captured and consolidated into the application. So that whole process started when she was now in Australia. Step four, once you complete your course, which takes between two and four years, depending on the type of course and the credit hours you have been exempted, here we are assuming you have traveled as a postgraduate. Even if you travel as an undergraduate, the process is still the same. However, the duration may be longer, which is generally four years. So this, this course took one and a half years. She qualified uh, with a, a bachelor's degree in uh, nursing because she got some credit transfers from the Kenyan uh, college where she, was, she, she had studied, Kenyan Medical Training College, which is highly recognized here. But for you to work here, you also have to go through their, their system. So 2018, she qualified and she became fully registered in due course and became a, a recognized registered community health that's a very very um, significant recognition that easily uh, gives you opportunity to work in any of the health facilities that are within this uh, jurisdiction step five get your skills as test this may involve having to take more courses in Australia in order to pass the vetting process. However, this also depends on your level of education, experience, and career path. We did not want a work visa. Because a work visa means much as they can come to... It will shorten the process of application. You'll come to Australia faster. The family will come to Australia faster. But now we'll have to keep on applying afresh, renewing the visa, renewing the visa. We did not want that route. We wanted uh, a route whereby it will be permanent and um, there will be no hassle of worrying that you need to renew your visa. Step 6. Once your skills are assessed, you can opt for a work visa, which is explained in the Pathways to Australia video. The disadvantage of the work visa is that you have to keep renewing your visa every so often. The subclass 189 visa takes a while longer, but you don't have to keep renewing your visa once the permanent residency is granted. That means it's going to take a longer time to process all this. Because when the process started, we assumed it will take at least one, maximum two years. But it has ended up taking almost three years for the whole process. Because now it met my documentation, it met the children's documentation, Everything has to be in line. We have to do medical um, exams. We did it twice because the first time we did it, when you logged in, the, when you put in the results, they, it took a year again for, for the process to continue. 
and once a year lapses with the medical uh, results they become invalid you have to do another one so there's so many dynamics in between there that um, if you're not mentally prepared you can easily uh, throw in the towel and that's it for this video the basic steps to applying for a skilled immigration visa sub class 189 to australia as an us we wish you all the best and remember to share this video with someone who is interested in moving to Australia with their family and their job is in one of the over 200 jobs listed in the skilled migration list. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.